Right, here we have the AccuCraft Raglith ready for its first steaming. And I'm just going to go through the sequence. So I'm going to put some water in. And for that I undo this and put it down carefully. Now with the uh, with the locomotive you get a, a syringe like this and it's very easy to use one of those. I tend to use something rather different which is a tomato ketchup bottle and with that I can fire the jet straight into the boiler. I'm using water from a condensing tumble dryer. There we are, that's full. And I replace the screw cap. These have got O-rings on, so they just need to be tightened down finger tight. There we are. Now I've got the, over here is the displacement lubricator. And I unscrew the cap from that. And just make sure that the drain, that any water is fully drained out by opening the little tap underneath. Tighten it back up again and fill the lubricator with steam oil. Just up to the top like that and replace this. I mean, there's various sorts of steam oil, but I find most of them are all right. This one is a, a medium thickness, but I very often use this, the lightweight one it's available from Roundhouse and other places. Okay, so there's the lubricator filled. Right, now to put some gas in. And the gas canister has a special adapter on it. I make sure the gas tap is closed. I put it on the top there and press down. And like that, when it begins to jet out of the side of the valve like that, it means it's full. The advantage of filling it at this stage is that it allows the gas to disperse because the gas will have dropped down into this tray and we don't want a bit of a fire when we when we light up. Okay, so I've got gas in, I've got oil in the lubricator, I've got water in, so now I'm just going to oil, I'm going to lubricate round. Okay, using just an ordinary thin motor oil. I'm going to put some on all of these various bearings, the axles, the coupling rods here on the rocker there. Inside on those rockers and as on the eccentrics here. And then the lower axles, best to turn it over to do this. I mean, a lot of people do this with it, with the engine lying on its back, but uh, a little bit of oil on the valve there, won't hurt. And then with the engine turned around, I can just make sure I can get to all these, and particularly those. Okay, right, an important point before you uh, light the gas burner is to ensure that this, which is the drain, the blowdown drain, is open. And you can see just a drop of water coming out of there. Now this we're going to leave open until steam issues from there and then we will close it. But I'm going to leave it open now while I get ready to fire up. Now sometimes these uh, locos light with a bit of a blow lamp effect with lots of gas coming out here, which means, and it sort of pulses to begin with. So one trick is to allow just a little bit of the gas at the top of the tank to go away and disperse. So what I'm going to do before I light it, I'm going to turn the gas on. I can turn it the right way. Oh yeah, oh look, you can see great jets of gas coming out, lots of 
and then it settles down. Okay, well, um, it's more than settled down because um, the gas jet is blocked. Uh, obviously a little bit of muck has got into it. So after that initial blast of gas, there is absolutely nothing coming through. So I'm going to have to take the jet out. Okay, now the jet is housed in here. This is the gas line. So in order to get the jet out, what I've got to do is I have got to make sure the gas is turned off and then get a, get a spanner that fits. Just undo that, that gas union there. Okay, I've just got to uh, finish undoing that. And then the jet housing comes out easily like that. You can see the jet is in there. I'm going to undo that. And I check the housing by blowing through it. All clear there. Some people put a little roll of filter paper in there. I never have, but um, I might do. Uh, then I'm going to check the jet. And the way to clean the jet, never poke anything through it, is to press it on the nozzle of the gas so that it blows back through. Difficult to do like this. So when you've blown through, I mean basically just pushing down with, with the thing vertical, and I can see clearly through the jet now. So I'm going to put the jet back in, like this. Again, there's just a, I can feel there's a little bit of tape still on there, so that'll seal in. If you're worried about the sealing, put a tad more, a tiny bit more PTFE tape on, but, and then m marry it up in there like that. And I'm going to push the nut back, get it lined up right, and that should simply screw on should. <laughs> yeah, it's going. So do it up as much as you can with your fingers. And then tighten it up with the spanner. Just tightening it up. Never force these things, just nice and tight like that. Okay, job done. We'll try again. Let's turn the gas on. Oh yes, that's working again. And I'm going to let a little bit more of the gas out. That's looking better now. Just those puffs we want to avoid. Okay, and then turn it off. And just blow the gas away. I'm in the kitchen, so I really don't want a fire in here. Luckily the boss is out, so we should be all right. Mind you, if this film is suddenly interrupted, it means she's come home and is not amused. So, just turning that on. There we are. We've avoided that great gouts of flame. So we'll just let that settle down for a moment. We won't. Gone out again. Try again. Just turn it up a bit more. There we are. It's perfectly normal. It's just that the gas is right at the top of the tank and some of the liquid is coming over. But it'll settle down. In fact, what I will do is lower the camera and with a bit of luck you can see the flame inside there. You see just the blue flame? That's nicely lit and when it's settled down we'll close the door. Okay so it's nicely lit now and we're just 
turn it up a tad. It's worth checking that you've not got it burning in the firebox. Um, you can tell by the sound of it really. And what you can see here is water beginning to come out from the uh, blowdown. And when that turns to steam, we're ready to open the regulator. Now a rolling road is the best thing uh, to use when steaming on the bench, but for just a quick steam up like this, just an old baking tray and a couple of blocks of wood is fine. Okay, so now we've got mostly steam coming out of here and you have to take a moment to think which way you turn it. Watch out, that's boiling water coming out of there. So just not too tight, you can see it's sealed. Now as everything warms up, the gas pressure increases. So I'm just going to ease that back a tad. And I'm going to put it into forward gear, ready for when we've got pressure. Right, I'm going to just ease the gas back a bit more. And now I'm going to open the regulator. That's the first time she's run. She's got a bit splashed. And she's running perfectly. So there we have a brand new Accucraft Raglith, first time in steam. Okay, we're going to light her up and just test her on the track for the first time. Open the smoke box door, gas on. This time the gas tank's half empty. You can see quite a bit of oil all over her, but not too bad. We'll just get up steam again. Getting some steam pressure on the gauge, if you can see it, just through the window there. And we're ready for off. Just ease the gas back a bit. So, Ragleth's hang, having her first run. She's incredibly smooth, rather quiet, but an excellent loco.